Hi, Spark family. This is Miss Erin. Um, just saying hello. I miss you. It is so hard to be apart during this time of social distancing. I think of you daily. Um, you're in my heart forever and always, and especially right now during this crazy time, um, this uncertain time. And I just want you to know that I'm here with you and I'm thinking of you. Um, I hope you're staying home and staying safe and taking time for yourself during this season. Um, so one way that we can do that together is to read through a few poems by um, Morgan Harper Nichols, who is my new favorite poet. Um, she is a light during this time. You can find her online. And we can also read through a few affirmations that we can say to ourselves when we're feeling a little um, unnerved during this time. And I'd love to also um, do a candle eye gazing activity, um, a meditation. That's why the candle is here. Um, and you can do this anywhere you are as long as it's safe to light a candle. So let's get started. Thrive within the waiting. It is okay to take time to process the weight of changing things. And it is okay to not be sure of what the coming months will bring. But may you know that even here, you are much more than those things. And there is still room to come alive and thrive within the waiting. So take a deep breath now in through the nose. Two three, four, and out through the mouth, two, three, four. Okay, the next poem is Hope in the Deep. So when it all spins out of control, I hope you find light pouring in your, on your soul. I hope you find unexplainable joy, peace beyond your understanding, and immeasurable hope running wild through the deep in stories, songs, memories, poetry. I hope you find hope in all sorts of small things. Again, these are both by Morgan Harper Nichols, and she is online on every platform. You should find her. She is wonderful. Um, a few affirmations that we can say together. Okay. Um, and just imagine that we're face to face or we're in the classroom together looking at each other and saying these things and affirming them for ourselves and for one another um, here's the first one even amidst the chaos i have so much to be grateful for i'll say it again even amidst the chaos i have so much to be grateful for one way that we can really choose gratitude right now is to write a list each morning of things that we're grateful for. Um, I've been trying to do that. Haven't done it every day, but it does help um, to ground us and help us find a sense of calm and appreciation for life right now in the midst of all of this. The next affirmation, I am allowed to feel more than one thing at once. I am feeling my way through life. Hope you're still breathing. We'll read it again. I'm allowed to feel more than one thing at once. I am feeling my way through life. The next one. I am patient with myself. I am kind to myself. I am treating myself with grace and compassion through this and always. Let's do that one again and also take a deep breath. I am patient with myself. I am kind to myself. I am treating myself with grace and compassion through this and always. The next one, breathe in, breathe out. I released expectations of getting everything done. I am allowed to use this time to come back home to me. I release expectations of getting everything done. I am allowed to use this time to come back home to me. 
and one more. I get to choose how I move through this in every moment of every day. Again, I get to choose how I move through this in every moment of every day. Guys, we're here, we're together, even though we're apart and we're doing the right thing for each other by staying at home. While we're doing that, something that we can, we can um, lean into is meditation. It can be as simple as just sitting and breathing quietly for a while. Um, you could play gentle music in the background. There are lots of lists on Spotify out there that are made for meditation. There are resources online as well. Um, you can just basically Google meditations for peace um, or for encouragement, whatever it is that you think you need in this moment, and they'll pop up. But one other way is through um, gazing meditation. So um, as you see, I have this candle here. It could also be um, just any form of light, really. Um, it doesn't have to be a candle. And what you want to do is just take big, long, deep breaths and watch the flame dance. You can do this for 30 seconds. Um, it's a little bit more impactful if you can stay in this place for five minutes. It allows your body to really relax, be in the moment, um, and focus on one thing in the midst of all of the things that are surrounding us right now and the messages and information. Um, stopping and breathing and looking at the flame is a great way to um, stay calm and present. Um, so I'm not going to sit here and stare at it for five minutes in front of you, but, um, but you can do this on your own and, um, I love you and I'm proud of you. You are standing in your power. You are being strong by waking up every day, staying brave, staying hopeful. And I cannot wait to see you again very soon.